Good morning, year one, and welcome to the last day of our English for the week. So today we're going to have a go at finishing our stories, and we're also going to have a look at some conjunctions, looking at some new conjunctions you might want to use today. So get your whiteboards and whiteboard pens ready, and when you're ready to start, resume the video. So today we're looking at the following conjunctions. So we're going to use simple conjunctions with time. So a lot of these are similar to the time openers that you've already been using. Conjunction use to link sentences. So have a think about and tell your grown-ups all the conjunctions you could be using already in your writing. When you're ready, grown-ups, we'll have a look at what we know. So we've been using and, or, but, so, because, and maybe even if. Conjunctions are also used to say when something happens. These conjunctions are called time connectives. The most common are when, while, after, and before. So we've got a couple of examples here before you have a go at describing the picture on the next page. Donkey finished his lungs before leaving the table. Goat left the table after he made a sandwich. So what we want you to have a go at is describing this scene and write sentences using when, while, after and before, or even during to describe what you can see here. And this again will probably help you with your writing in the final part of today's lesson. So when you're ready, grown up, start the video again. OK, so I'm sure these are some brilliant ideas for your stories. Now, this is how we're going to start, finish our story. This is how my story is going to finish. And I want you to think about how you can finish your own story. The end is going to be very similar, just changing the characters, by the way. OK, so let's get going. So then which is one of those openers. As night fell, Penguin climbed inside her den and tried to go to sleep. But she couldn't go to sleep. And then I'm going to go on that night. Penguin shouted to Monkey, will you come and join me in my den? Monkey said, only if I can bring a book. For a while they tried to get to sleep, but in the end, they, just, they snuggled up together and read a story about the great outdoors. So that's how my story is going to end. Yours can end fairly similarly. But the bit you do before that is where you get the opportunity to meet these success criteria. <clears throat> so we've got looking for full stops. We've got one here. Looking for capital letters at the start of the sentence. The question marks, well, I need to build one of those into the rest of my writing. But I have got my connective and tried to go to sleep because I've extended that sentence. Time openers and conjunctions, yep, right at the beginning. In fact, this one is one as well, as night fell. Finger spaces, yep, you can see them. And finally, you'll have to trust me that I'm writing on the line because I don't have any lines to write on. So that's the end of our English lessons for the week. I'm sure you will do brilliantly, and I can't wait. If you want to send in any stories, that would be fabulous. Okay, and I can't wait to work with you next week.